Hello everyone. Today I bring you the summary of the chapter The Glimpses of Past. Our great Indian heroes are known for the for their valour means bravery and significant contribution during the war of independence and also known as the revolt of 1857 by 1765 the british east india company controlled most of india or indian states the fighting among the indian princes helped the east india company expand the territories under its control however tipu sultan of mysore fought the british bravely till his death in, in the battle some indian people looked up to the british merchants as their savior their fool However, there were others who were unhappy about the Indian prince, princes being dethroned by the white men. Meanwhile, religious leaders promoted the ideas that led to the superstition and discrimination among the people. The British sought to earn profit by giving the or putting the heavy taxes on the farmers when they couldn't play or pay their crops then they were taken away their crops were taken away the british decided to waive of the import duty on goods manufactured in england as a result cheap british made the goods flooded the Indian market, destroyed and Indian artisans lost their livelihoods also. Rajaram Mohan Roy, a learned scholar from Bengal, realized that Indian society needed to be reformed. So, he went to England to understand that what made them powerful. Meanwhile, the British continued to ill-treat the Indians. In 1880, the British passed the Regulation Act, where an Indian could be jailed without any trial in a court. By 1829, British goods worth 7 crore rupees. They were important to, imported to India. Even the Governor General William Bentick was alarmed at the deteriorating situation of Indian weavers and farmers also. In 1835, Lord Macaulay introduced English language education in India. English education produced a new generation of learned Indians. To become vocal in expressing the problems of Indians before the British Parliament. By 1856, the British had conquered the whole of India, but they were not concerned about the plight of Indians. Some parts of the country they began forcibly converting Indian to the Christianity. The Santhas of Bengal who had lost their lands under the new land rules, they were first to rebel against the British in 1855. Rebel means the Indian sepoy in the East India Company army, they were also unhappy with the discrimination against them. In addition, they were upset at being forced to cross the sea also to fight the British in other lands because it violated their religious beliefs. When the Indian sepoy learned that the grease on the bullets they were supposed to bite off 
before use was made of pig and cow fat they were hot and angry in 1857 there was a violent outbreak by the sepoy of merit led by a sepoy named mangal pande the rebellion began spreading to different parts of india as well as to different states of indian society many landlords supported the patriots many former rulers like begum hazrat mahal of lucknow like molvi md amadulla of faizabad and azimulla khan also joined that rebellion the patriots battled against the british all over the north india this was the beginning of the indian freedom struggle so this chapter teaches us that united we stand divided we fall and it also teaches us that in order to be succeeding in anything we do will need to be organized that's all thank you